What's good, YouTube? Hope everybody's been well. It's been uh, crazy wind in SoCal this past week. Uh, I recently moved again. I had a baby. Our house was way too big, had way too many stairs. It was way too much of a hassle. So I decided we're going to move into a single floor, single story house. And uh, unfortunately, the house I decided to move in, the garage is going through some renovations. So I had to put a, put a tent up for my tools. By the way, don't ever buy a tent from Timu. It's garbage. It's trash. It, it didn't hold up for even a couple weeks. I know it's strong winds, but the material is just like trash. It, it, it tear, literally tears off uh, from, from 20 mile winds, which is, I think, ridiculous. But I've been working on that. I, I got a lot of work to do in the yard. It's a mess. There's uh, leaves and, and trash all over the yard. Uh, I had my CNC machine, my Onefinity uh, Elite Series CNC machine, all my tools, my woodworking stuff. I had my laser cutter in there. Luckily, nothing was damaged. But uh, my tent's ruined and I feel like it's going to rain pretty soon. So I'm going to be working on that. Make sure I secure my tools. Without my tools, I can't make videos. I can't build anything. And uh, there's a lot of money invested in that. So you got to take care of your tools. But that's what I'll be working on today. Hopefully it'll take me one full day to do it. I got a lot of different changes I need to make. This house I moved in, I bought my dogs a little storage shed and insulated with AC and a heater, but they're not using it. So I think I got to get or build something more cozy. I was planning on building a three foot by a 16 foot quadplex, if you may call it, because I have five cane corsos, four of them are puppies. One of them, which I still have to uh, find a new home for, I'm only keeping three of the puppies and the mom. But, uh, yeah, we got a busy, busy week ahead of us. I would even say busy month. I want to I wanna go through step by steps on how I'm building my homeless workshop, shelter, tent, whatever you want to call it. That's what I want to call it because that's what I feel like it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll be securing my tools first and then uh, I'll be building my, my dogs that 3x16 quadplex. I want each one of them to have their own space. Because I'm not planning on staying here for too long. Uh, my forever home, I'm, I'm definitely going to... I'm making this in a dimension where I could take this to my forever home. Which is pretty cool. Because it's three foot, so it'll fit through the back backyard. And I could take it to my forever home. And then um, when, I, when I do do that, I'm also going to put a kennel up for each unit. So when I do leave out of town or anything, uh, for a day or two, they're cane corso, so they fight. Like they, they might get at each other, at least this way I could separate them and, and I could leave with a peace of mind knowing that my dogs are not going to be getting at each other. When I'm home, I'm the alpha. They know that. They respect it. I respect them for respecting that. But when I'm out of the house, these guys uh, all fight for their position. So you got to watch out, man. They, they're, they're, they're big, strong dogs, so you don't want them hurting each other. So that's what we'll be working on. I'm going to take you guys out real quick and show you my yard and what a mess it is. I already cleaned up a little bit of it. If you guys saw <laughs> what it looked like uh, before I cleaned up the tent stuff, because that was like in traps and pieces. It looked terrible. It looked so bad. It looked like a bad movie, but uh, I'm, I'm working on it. So let's go and check that out. This is what we're working on. So I have my cat house right here. Built in well, assembled the cat house. We got this from Timu too. This thing holds up. She's she's fighting a bit. Hey, stop! And then that's my that used to be my work area where I had my tent. And I got all my tools out. Got my pups right here. That's Tommy, Sugar. That's Shadow. He needs a new home. That's Maya, right there, that's the mom, and that's Runestone, that's my, that's my favorite boy, he has two colored eyes, he's a good boy, and uh, this is what we're working with, so I'm going to go ahead and, that's the new tent, I'm going to assemble that, put it right there, it's a little bit bigger so I'll have more workspace, I'll put some nice lighting inside, 
put a little work table now that I got 60 more square feet I'll figure it out and uh, at least I could shoot all my videos in here and hopefully I'll dust proof it a little bit with some sandbags on the opposite side don't want to put anything on this side because it already looks bad it's a tenth for crying out loud but we'll make it work and I'll be back Alright, so it don't look like much, but I got the top half assembled, I got the tarp on, I'm about to tie these down, and then we'll uh, put the rest of the legs on and keep assembling. Uh, not too many parts left, as you can see here. Not bad, not bad, doing alright. I got one more panel to put on, and we're done. So much more spacing in here. I actually got all my big boxes lined up in one corner, which I, which is really cool. It was bothering me that one was like right here, randomly spaced, and one was one right there, randomly spaced. I couldn't access those properly. Looks much cooler now. I love that. So I'll probably put my CNC machine right here. Leave that there. I mean, I'll put this table with the we create in that corner right there. And then I'll put my toolboxes here. And then up here I'll probably line up my saws and things like that. But let's see how that goes. Alright guys. Tents fully up. I got uh, I got it organized as best as I could. It's late already. I don't even know what time it is. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in here. I'm pretty impressed definitely looks like a lot more stable of a tent it's more of a carport if anything it has stronger stronger rails up there it's a little bit bigger it's 13 20 13 by 20 instead of 10 by 20 which gives me 60 extra square feet and I'm able to line up my storage cabinets on one side which is really really cool and I really like that and then I have a lot of space right here to put a little work table. And uh, the other day I picked these up from Home Depot. I'm going to probably build my table around that since this is a temporary setup for me. I mean, I can't stop. Uh, I won't stop. I don't have a reason to. I, I Earlier on I was a little bummed out that I had to do all of this, but it turned out good. I'm happy. I'm actually happy. Everything happens for a reason. I have more room to work now. And uh, while I was at it, I found myself a cool little guitar kit that I bought from Guitar World right here. And I had, this is a, this is a solid top by the way guys. This is a really cool kit. This one I had, I had to wait a little longer for them to ship it out to me. But they sent it out. Uh, I had messed around with burnt, ch uh, charring the top surface, but... I'm gonna see how how I'm gonna go about this. I'm probably gonna make this my next project. My Les Paul videos do really well on YouTube. This one's a really nice kit. This is the Les Paul kit that I got from Guitar World. Uh, I don't work with them anymore. I don't buy anything from them anymore. I ordered a V-shaped guitar from them about I don't know, probably like two years ago. And uh, they sent it without a neck. The pick guard was bent. I reached out to them. They basically told me to kick rocks. They said I didn't look well enough in the packaging, which is insane, because how could you miss a neck? That's just ridiculous. But I'm kind of happy I did this today, because I found this kit. It was just sitting in my, uh, sitting in my cabinet. And uh, this one is pretty special. It really is, because it's a, it's a solid top. It doesn't have any uh, linings on the edges, which is really cool. Uh, it did sit out for a little while. It has a little line running through here, the wood split, but that's okay. The cool part about this is that we're going to make this work and we're going to do it together. And same thing goes for uh, the neck. It has a little bit of cracks here. I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, but we're going to make this work. And uh, it's going to need some work because some of these frets are popping out as well. They're like pretty off, which is kind of cool. For video purposes, we'll 
we'll go about seeing how we could make this kit uh, a fantastic one. And then, per usual, I'm gonna give this the original Les Paul shape. This is a little weird looking. I hate how these guitars look like that. But I know for uh, some reasons they don't do it. But I can. I'm not gonna sell this. I make these things and I keep this one. So uh, it's a nice kit. And I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna go in right now after I finish this video, edit it, post it up, and look for some electronics and parts for this and we're gonna do this as our next build I'm pretty excited that I found this kit I was I was really excited to get it to begin with but ever since I moved I, I forgot about it and I left it but now we're <laughs> uh, we, we just got our tent up our workshop and we're gonna we found this and we have a project to do in here which is really exciting but yeah guys don't don't let um, any situation slow you down from doing work if you if you love something chase it go for it it doesn't have to be a crazy shop I mean look at this thing it's a tent but it has all my tools in here I have my expensive CNC machine I got my laser cutter I have a bunch of saws and things like that in these cabinets uh, we, we work and we make things happen and that's the only way you're gonna push forward in life so always remember that uh, it doesn't matter if your shop costs $500 million or $320 like this tent does. Uh, just go for it and you can do it, I promise you. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up on this video and uh, after here we'll, we'll have our next project, the Les Paul guitar, and see how that turns out. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful night, it's late out here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow if you like my content, if you don't, see you.